Wow, this is one creepy area of the factory. Why did Kissy Missy want to meet me here? Hello. Ah! Oh, hey, Kissy Missy. Thank gosh you're here. I was starting to think something bad was going to happen. Oh, no. Something great is going to happen. Just walk a little bit closer. I can do that. By the way, did you do something different with your fur? It looks a little more purple than usual. Fire! Wait! That's weird. That mirror makes you look far away. And it doesn't show me in it. Or that knife. Wait! A knife! Step back, Kissy Missy! It's my time to shine! It can't be. Is it really you? Who? Who is this? Fire! That's... That's my twin sister! You took everything from me, Kissy Missy! Now, I'm gonna do the same to you! Oh no! Oh no, no, no! Player's in a lot of trouble! Hmm. Something smells like a campfire. Ah! Kissy Missy! Help! Ah! For the last time, I'm not Kissy Missy! I'm her sister, Lovey Dovey! I'm sick of people confusing us! Well, you were the one who sent in no pretending to be her! I had to, to get my sweet revenge! Revenge for what? Ever since we were born, people always said we were identical twins. There was nothing really identical about us. Missy was better at everything than me. She was better at school. Oh, teacher wants to see me after class. Me too. She was better at sports. <gasps> I finally made it! Good job! Only three more laps to go. She was even better at theater. For our production of Romeo and Juliet, the role of Juliet will be played by our favorite student, Missy. It was like that my whole life. No one would notice me with Missy around. By the time we got older, I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't even want to be around her. Missy always offered me rides to work, but I took the bus instead. It was on that bus that I first saw him. Huggard Hugson. He was the most handsome man I'd ever seen. Normally I'd never have the courage to ask a man out because I knew he'd pass me over for Missy. But my sister wasn't there. This was my chance. Um, excuse me? I was wondering, uh, would you? Lovey, you dope! You left your stomach pills at home! You know your stomach pills? For your terrible gas problem? Missy, this is a bad time! Well, it'll be an even worse time if you don't take your gas problem pills. Hello there! Hello yourself! What's your name? I'm Huggard Wugson. I work at the toy factory. What a coincidence! I love to play with toys. They were boyfriend and girlfriend before the bus had even left the block. Once again, my perfect sister had taken everything I wanted. And it remained like that for months. You need to help me! Huggard has gone missing! Have you heard from him at all? My Huggard is in trouble! I know it! I have to do something! But she never came back. Days passed and Missy still hadn't come home. After a while, though, I realized that this could be a good thing. With my sister gone, people might finally notice me. Finally, I get the attention I deserved, not my sister. We're here on day three of the Missing Missy Crisis, the disappearance of our town's most popular woman. We here at Channel 4 promise not to stop talking about Missy until she is found. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Somehow Missy was getting even attention than ever! <laughs> Even in her absence, my sister was a 
everywhere. I didn't leave my house for weeks. I couldn't take it. Then, one day, Missy had sent me a package. When I looked inside, there was only a doll. The tag said Playtime Co. Of course! The factory where Huggard worked! Missy had run off with him, and this doll was her way of bragging to me! She got the man I wanted, and she had him all to herself! I couldn't let her keep doing this! She ruined my life! So I was going to ruin hers! I went to the factory that night. My plan was simple. I find Huggard, pretend to be Missy, and steal him away! But when I looked for records to show where they were, I learned the shocking truth. They'd both been turned into toys! If Missy was a toy, there'd be no way to pretend to be her! So I turned myself into a toy. Honestly, it hurt. A lot. But it was worth it. Because now I'm here with you. My beloved Huggard. Wait, what? I'm sorry I had to capture you. I just needed to make sure you stayed still while I explained myself. Now we can be together forever. Uh, that's a cool story and all, but I'm not Huggard. What? No, no, but, but I saw you and Missy on a date together. Oh, that must have been when we both got doused with his love potion. It was a whole wacky thing. Funny in hindsight, though. But I'm not Huggard Wugson. My name's Player. No, no, no! She foiled me again! Ugh. That's it. If I can't destroy her relationship, then I'll just destroy everything! Lovey Dovey, stop! That thing's gonna blow! I don't care! I do! Oh great! It's my perfect sister! Here to brag because I messed up again! I don't brag! Then why did you send me this doll? Lovey, did you ever pull the pull string? Pull string? Lovey, it's your sister. Huggard and I are trapped at the factory and I don't know if we'll ever get out! I need you to stay away from here because it's too dangerous. Go! Live a good life without us. See? I wasn't trying to ruin your life. I was trying to save it. Because you're my sister. And no matter what, there's no one I'd rather be identical to than you. Missy! What have I done? Uh, guys? He's single. Oh, really? Can someone please untie me? 